Today is Tuesday the 1st of November. Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you so much for joining us. We're tracking a storm between Tasmania and New Zealand. This is it here on the air pressure and wind map. Uh, quite a deep system, but it's got a, a, a big reach. It's uh, sending up gale force southerlies into South Australia and Adelaide, windy through the interior, and then on the other side coming into New Zealand, much warmer airflow. Look at this, out of the Coral Sea area, dropping down over New Zealand, which is why our temperatures are going to be up and over 8 degrees above normal, while the opposite is happening over in parts of Australia, a large portion of Australia several degrees below normal for this time of the year. Taking a look at the thunderstorms as we recorded this on Tuesday morning, most of them up here around Tonga and Fiji and the tropical islands uh, and also obviously around Papua New Guinea where they almost always are. But there's also uh, quite a, a fair amount of them through Queensland, but otherwise it is actually quite quiet at the moment. Even with that big storm down here, not a lot of activity really going on with the thunderstorms in our part of the world. So let's have a look at that rainfall. On that front and that low down in the Southern Ocean moving through, uh, the rain will accumulate on the West Coast. So that's where we're seeing 200 millimetres or so there. Only showers for the western side of the North Island and almost completely dry for those of you in the east. And if you're down in Southland and Otago, depends on which side of the region you're on. Uh, if you're further to the west, the rainfall total is higher. Further to the east, it drops down. That's for the next two days, that rainfall. Here's the wind map for uh, later on today, about lunchtime in Australia. And you're seeing that windy uh, gale force block of weather coming in for Adelaide. But over here in Melbourne for the Flemington Raceway, it is going to be windy. But this system, the worst of the winds are further to the west. As the day goes on and tonight goes on, all of this moves eastwards. Sydney's also got blustery nor'westers potentially getting up to gale force in some areas. And New Zealand's wind map, this is for midnight tonight, showing nor'westers coming through Cook Strait, getting up to gale force in the usual areas. But this is the main area of concern. Winds of 130 k's an hour, but it is down in Fiordland. So you know, not a lot of people in that area, but that is the next surge of windy weather from that storm coming through tonight. So here we are for lunchtime tomorrow, Wednesday. You can see that surge of windy weather, the gale force winds moving up the country. Now the storm itself's disappeared, so that's good news. It's not going to continue on bringing severe weather. There is some low pressure out here in the Tasman. On this side, colder, temperature drop for most of you, but on the New Zealand side, warmer on Wednesday and rain on the west coast with heavy falls. By Thursday, that front moves into the North Island, falls apart, that's why you're only seeing low rainfall accumulations. So a few showers coming through, mild nor'westers, uh, and they get gradually cooler the further down you go. You see the blue line there measures air thickness, but put simply, it shows where the colder air down around Antarctica and the Southern Ocean surges up. Now, it's not a major cold blast for New Zealand, but it just shows you on Thursday, there will be a bit of a temperature drop coming through for you. Now, by the end of the week, it's still a little bit cooler down here. The southwester coming out of the Southern Ocean for Southland, Otago, the West Coast, where plenty of showers continue on. But the further north you go, the lighter those winds are, the more dry spells there are, especially for those of you in the east. And look at this, this big high rolling in to the one area that really needs it the most. You know, South Australia, Southeastern Australia, Victoria, those areas have been just pummeled by one storm after the other. Finally, you've got a break coming through on Friday with high pressure coming in. Now by Saturday, there's a bit of a southerly flow around New Zealand, so the temperatures are down a little bit based on where they've been uh, for the start of this week where it was much warmer. And in Australia, a little bit of a surge in easterlies producing a few showers, most, uh, mostly from Sydney northwards, and no great deal of change on Sunday. Still, those showers from Sydney northwards, easterly flow, bit of low pressure in the tropics, no big storms, no big signs that La Nina is producing extra uh, energy up there at this stage. Uh, we've still got you know, a little while to go just yet, but it is peaking in the month of November. Main feature on this map on Sunday is probably this low in Western Australia, because there's certainly not a lot going on in the New Zealand area, which is not bad news. Now, if you are interested in a longer term forecast, please do go to our website, weatherwatch.co.nz. We've got our special you know, nine minute video talking about the next uh, couple of months coming up, what we're expecting around New Zealand. And we touch on Australia because it's quite important because um, if we show Australia, it sort of makes sense of what's happening here in New Zealand. So it's good to put them side by side sometimes. So you can check out that video or just see the pictures. There's 16 different maps which explain what is happening in November 
and the outlook for December and January as well, all in simple terms. That is all from me. We'll see you again on Wednesday with our next update.